Hey YouTube, I'm Robbie Frank and this is my girlfriend Kathy and today we're gonna get a futuristic sushi experience at a place called Yo Sushi! Yo Sushi! Super clean. So okay. clean. <laughs> How do we even get this dirty? Hey babe, what's your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Uh, I like cereal. You're a cereal killer. <gasps> Yesterday I got whacked in the leg by one of those. <laughs> So right now, we're about to get some yo sushi. I'm so hungry. Previews and the real thing. What do you think? Good? So basically, right here, there's a conveyor belt. The plates have different colors, and each color corresponds to a price. So at the end, they break, they take all of the plates, and then they tally up how much it actually costs. I think it was super yummy. They have a lot of fusion kind of sushi, so like sushi with sriracha or with Cajun seasoning, that was really yummy. And whether you like sashimi or you're into like yellowtail or even something as simple as like California roll, you really have uh, some options there. One of the really cool things that we tried out was some takoyaki, which is basically fried octopus. It's kind of like wrapped in a zeppoli um, or some fried dough. It looked like a donut. <laughs> Munchkin donut. <laughs> so imagine an octopus donut, and that's basically what it was. Kathy was telling me a really interesting fact about the uh, assembly line sushi. It actually originated over in Japan. It's something called Yoshuishi, which means flowing river feast. And um, instead of conveyor belts, they had a little tiny river floating on the table, and it's propelled by little electric fans, and then they would make sushi, put them on little sushi boats, <laughs> and you eat off of the boat. It's really cute. So right behind me here is the Flatiron Building, and when it was first built, people had never seen a building with that sort of structure, and they actually thought it was architecturally unsound and that it was gonna collapse. People wrote articles about how a building like that couldn't possibly sustain itself. It was built because it was uh, right in the middle of Broadway, which is a cross street that cuts uh, through Manhattan, unlike the rest of the grid um, that is New York City. And it's one of my favorite buildings here in New York City. So if you get Yosushi, which is a really fun experience, I definitely recommend checking it out. comfortable right now. Like what happened to fall? Yeah, it's the end of October right now. It's October 20th and it's like 70 degrees right now. What the hell? Our planet is dying. Can you imagine how much they would make if there's like a zip line going all the way across New York City? That would be freaking awesome. I would do that in an instant. is this Chinese breakfast pancake thing that's like folded into like a crepe and it's usually got like fried dough and scallions and all kinds of sauces in there and usually it's vegetarian but you can put meat in it like they do do here and it's one of my favorite things to eat when I'm in China they're like on every street corner everybody likes Kung Fu Panda <laughs> That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm Robbie Frank. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to check out Kathy's channel, Crazy Soprano Vlog. If you are into pet therapy, she just did a cool video on that.